Hello there everyone and welcome to another video with me, KJG. Today what we're doing is day 18 of the Science Advent Calendar. That's right, we're on day 18 already and um, it's gone rather quick. We're uh, 24 days and then we're done. <clears throat> and we're on day 18 already. Today Electrostatic, static electricity and all that good stuff. So, what was included in the box today was this ruler without any measurements on it. Fun. Okay, so, what we're going to do first is we're going to lift paprika without touching. We are going to lift paprika without touching it. Yes, it may seem impossible, but with the power of science, it's not. So, we need a little bit of paprika. On a bit of paper. So I'm going to pop that there. I'm going to zoom in on the paper so that you can see see it properly. Lovely, cool. So you should be able to see it fairly. Right, so I'm going to sprinkle a bit on. should do really. Right. Just going to pop it back. There. So now we need to charge this and we do this by rubbing it in our hair for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now we hold it next to the paprika. See, I don't know if you saw that, but there is paprika on the ruler. There is paprika on the ruler. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, we're going to do it again, but with the other end. Yeah. So I know you probably couldn't see that in as good detail, but that is what happened. Uh, there is paprika. You can probably see the orange sort of dust that collected. There's probably a better view. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so paprika collects on the dust. You know what? That is absolutely really cool that is absolutely cool this is what yeah it's just cool right so now i need to dispose of the paprika in as little in as messy free way as possible there we go cool next is uh picking up oil drops okay so again same thing but with a plate same thing, but with a plate. So, do I have a plate? No, but I have this weird tin that we're going to use instead. Now, you know this is my DIY heatproof mat. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little bit of... Slip out my hand. Pour a little bit of oil. Onto it. Like so. Right. Okay. And I will move the camera, so then you should be able to see it. Slu Actually, no, that's fine. Right, okay. Now, I'm just going to wipe the paprika. Paprika, I can't really say the word. Don't know why I did that on that jumper, but... I'm going to wipe the paprika off. I'll do it on here instead, probably. There we go. Right. And then we charge it again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. So some of the vegetable oil. Oh. OK. 
Okay, so it sort of gravitated towards it a little bit. Okay, so we're going to try it again. This time with the other side. I'm just going to make sure that that does not drip in my face. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so it sort of worked. I think a better demonstration is with the paprika, uh, to be honest with you. But yeah, that sort of worked. Um, so it sort of gravitated towards and sort of stuck to a little bit um, in that. But here's the explanation of static electricity. You may have already experienced a little spark or felt a slight pinch when you shake hands, touch a doorknob or touch a metal uh, banister. This can happen when you wear a woolen pullover or walk on a wool object, walk, walk on a wool carpet with rubber soles. These and similar effects are caused by electrostatics. As you probably know, all objects are made of atoms. These atoms consist of a positively charged core or, nu or, or nucleus and a shell of negatively charged electrons. Substances, e.g. plastic, not only bind their electrons very strongly, but also attract electrons from other substances. This effect is accelerated and enhanced when you, e.g. rub a ruler in your hair or, e.g. on wool. In the process, the ruler picks up the negative electrons and is hence charged negatively. This effect is called separation of charge. Other substances, like paprika, tend to have a positive charge and are hence attracted by the ruler. When you touch an object that is charged positively, the excess and lack of electrons equalise with a fraction of a second. Depending on how heavily you are charged, a voltage of up to several thousand volts may occur. However, as the current is very low and uh, amounts to only a few milli milliampers, uh, mi yeah. yeah, there is absolutely no danger involved. And that is static electricity. We've got a very interesting practical tomorrow. Right, okay, I need to go buy some stuff. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share it with a friend, comment down below your views, suggestions, blah, 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 subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, have a lovely rest of your day, and until next time guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.